Hi everyone, welcome to part 6 of the Saracen Raw build. Now, I've sort of cheated a bit, I've got ahead and fitted a couple of bits already and cut some of the um, outer cabling to length just to try and keep the video as short as possible because I want to finish it in this video. So, uh, both gear cables are fitted to the shifters at least. So all I've got to do is feed those through and I've put both wheels in, I've cleaned them up, put them in. Um, the rear derailleur mech, I've fiddled around with that and got that ready to go. I just need some cable adjusters for the um, brake brakes. So I've got this pot of bits up from the shed. Got an adjustable stem there. It's one of the few stems that I kept from all my bits. Literally just kept a handful. Really just so I had enough to do projects like this if I needed them. And if I want to have them play around. My bootlace is undone and that annoys me. You know, that's all these shoelaces do ever since I've been wearing them. These were these were only a couple of months old. But these laces, they just always come undone. Anyway, there's a few bits that I want to chuck in there, like a nice set of alloy V-brakes. If I had two pairs of these, I wouldn't have bought new ones, but then again, then Shimano Dior's are quite nice. I've got these, but they're missing the springs. I've got a couple of um, pairs in black, I think, in my box down here already. So that can go in there. There's a couple of these bloody lights. And a sealed bottom bracket. You see, and I can tell that one's a sealed one. But this end, which is all sealed, your bearings are in there. Then you've got the other bearing here. Semi-sealed ones. The bearing this side is in the cup and it's got the caged ones, the balls in the cage. <clears throat> but that's still a good one. I've still got the cap for that somewhere. But uh, pretty much all my little bits and bobs, like my adjusters and whatnot, I chucked all into this tub. So I've got to find them. I've got these for the old cantilever brakes. Several good ones actually. Perhaps I should eBay some. I don't know if you can still get them. There's another one for a different bike. It's a different style at least. Some more. Another one. That can go in the bin. That's a um a ratchet extension but it's lost the ball bearing out of the end there see so as soon as you put a socket on that it's just going to drop straight off so that ain't any good <clears throat> if I'd seen that before I threw it in here when I was clearing out my shed I wouldn't have kept it right so what I need is a matching pair of adjusters if possible um, I don't need the um, smaller thread like these ones, I need the chunky thread. I don't know the actual thread so oh look, I forgot I had that, a spare flower for a fork. That's the bit you put in the top of a threadless fork, and then your bolt goes in there to hold it all together. Uh, I've got a bucket load of these old cable bridges, I think that's a Vineman, yep, Vineman one. I've got various cable adjusters in here for all sorts of things. But uh, naturally, the ones that I actually want are buried at the bottom. Not that one. Not that one. I'll just chuck bits all over the floor. There's another wine. Man. I thought I should clean those up and put those on eBay as well. I doubt I'll ever use those. There's one. If I can get it to unscrew, I think it's very similar to one I've got on the bike actually. I may not have anything, but I'd rather not have these as odd, which is what I've got at the minute, because one of those um, shifters I put on the bike had one of these missing. Um, it's definitely not up here on the floor, because I would have seen it. Be 
been so hard to find. I had absolutely bucket loads of them. And at the moment, that is the only one I can find. I mean, if I've got to go somewhere and try and buy a matching pair, then that's just what I'll have to do. Here's another one, which might match one that I've already got on the bike, and that, uh, the adjustment lock thing. I don't know what you'd call it. That's just like the... Uh, a locking wheel just to stop it um, coming loose. That one actually unscrews, it doesn't on that one, it's stuck. Alright. Um. Ah! This one actually matches the one um, that was with it originally, so I'm going to go for that one for now. <sighs> A swig of a drink. Right, let's get stuck into it, shall we? By the way, hopefully, if all goes well, I have a friend of mine that will be able to, uh, or is willing, to be my camera guy. Because I have to admit, I really suck at trying to work on this and keep an eye on the camera to make sure I'm in shot as well. So, when I'm filming videos like this, it would be great to have someone, you know, behind it, keep an eye on things. But, uh, it's not in as good condition as the one on there, but it does match. The question is, will it screw in? Bloody thread is too small. <laughs> I didn't notice that, did I? So you get two thread sizes for them. Get small. So even though that one looks exactly like the one I've got in there, it's a smaller thread. So I might have to use this one. I'm going to use that one for now. That right there is exactly why I can never find anything because I do the same thing with my tools. Finish using them, just throw them down somewhere, and then I can't find them. So, I'm screw this one back in here now. As you can see, I've got the cables on. To fit them on these, you just undo these two screws, put it down into whatever speed it is. In this case, it's an 8 speed. So, if you've got a 7 speed shifter, you put it down into 7 and so on. Then, you should be able to find a little hole and a little notch that the end of your cable goes into, thread it through should actually all line up with the bit it comes out of there, so it should just go straight through. Job's done. And you just put your cover back on, do your two little Phillips screws up, and that's it. So, I have noticed that something is rather arse about face on this bike, or it is to me, because I've not come across this before. I spent ages trying to figure out what the cable route was for this cable here, your left gears, which would be your front ones. Oddly, for some reason, they go on the, down the right side of the bike. Now, on a lot of bikes that I've worked on and built for myself and whatnot, 99.9% .9 of the time, your right shifter, the cables go down the right side of your frame and so on for the left side. The left side goes down the left side of the frame. Not on this bike. Completely different. It goes here. I'll show you. I spent ages earlier looking at this bike trying to figure it out. Anyway, you get this on, just thread your cable down like that. No, I'm not using cable for rules. Not on the gears anyway. Um, because your gear wire is actually thinner than the brake wire so um, that means when you buy a brand new bike or if you go to a bike shop look at a brand new bike you'll find that the um, outer cabling for your brake has a bigger diameter than the one for the gear cable I don't know why they do that on brand new bikes Every person I know that's built a bike, I've seen people do them online, that they just use the single size 
for both cables. So I'm using your, well, what would technically be your brake cable out of your gears. So there's a lot of space in there. So I don't bother with the ferrules. Um, I've always done that. I've still got, well I've got a bike downstairs, that's what, I built that five years ago, and I don't get any problems, so I've never worried about it. You see that then goes in here, so this is for your front gears. Ordinarily, this side would be for your, um, get everything in a knot now, for this side, but for some reason Saracen has decided to do this arse about face. Maybe they just feel like doing something different on this bike, I don't know. I'm sure the person that designed this had their reasons for it. Not that it matters, it just sort of caught me off guard, I guess. I just wasn't expecting it to be that way. Right. Whoop. Get around there. So that's the front one on. So now I've got a crossover for the rear one. This is the one I cut for the oh, That is really peeing me off. I'm, once I've done this, I'm going to have to put the um, handlebar stand on because you can't bloody work like this. So, I've got to hold it with my chin. <laughs> well, I wish I had those extra arms that you were supposed to get when you had the uh, COVID jab, but never mind. I didn't get my, COVID, uh, my uh, extra arms. I'd have welcomed, welcomed an extra set of arms. There we go, right, I'm just going to uh, try and get around this side of the bike for a minute. So with this bike stand, I might have to replace this one when Lidl's next get them in. They're only £30 when Lidl's have them in. So to me it's uh, worth the investment. Probably without smacking a bloody head on everything. Right, that's going to go around the bottom of the stand up there. Try and get the bloody thing through the hole. There we go. And this end needs to be a little bit longer. I've got an adjustment in this as well, so you can adjust the length of it. So it will fit, you know, any size bike you put in it. But there we go, I'll stop the handlebars swinging around because now it's stuck. I'm thinking of actually getting a replacement because I've noticed this bit is now bending that way for some reason, I don't know why. I don't know if it's always been like that but I've only just noticed it so. Right, so that is now ready to be connected to the front of the rear Um for the gear cable, for the rear gear cable here, so I've got to remember, I've got to move you so you can see. There we go. This is why I need a cameraman. Um, he's just waiting for um, things to go through, hopefully, for the flat. And I forgot to tell him, I've actually got a TV for him downstairs. Well, actually, I've got a choice of two he can pick. <laughs> I'm not first <laughs> required to... See, sometimes my hoarding habits have their uses. Uh, the, uh, actually, I was going to say the only downside is only one's got a remote, but that's not true. They both have. Um, and the other thing is, hey Nemo, I've also got like a DVD player for him as well with a, a video on it. So it's like a DVD video combo. Um, well, actually, I've got two. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to decide on which one I want and set it up in the bedroom. I used to have one in there, but when I moved everything around, I never bothered setting it back up again. Right, there we go. So that one's sorted. Cable connector for an LED light, anyone? Right. Now it's just the brake cables. Right. Now, I've got 
brake cable here. Should I or should I not start with the front? I don't know why I sometimes do that. It's like I'm hissing or spitting. <laughs> All right. I'm only working at an awkward angle up here. I forgot the camera again. Sorry guys. <laughs> and in moving to get the camera, I've dropped my adjuster on the floor. There it is. Okay. See, I watch YouTubers that fix things up and some of them actually do have like a, a camera person. Um, towel fix is always one of them. He's got someone on the camera. So he ain't got to worry about uh, all the angles and whatnot and making sure he's in the shop. He's having trouble getting this, the um, adjuster started. Right. Now, when we set brakes up, I always start with the cable adjuster screwed all the way in. I bet this bit ain't actually going to be long enough, is it? Um, no, I want a little bit extra on that. So got five meters of this stuff I think that was way too much to be honest but uh, when you go on eBay you can get stuff in all sorts of colors like this and you can buy it by the meter I think in the future I, think about that much longer. I might buy a little bit less but then again I've got some spare here for another project for what I use blue, of course. Now, I would put the ferrules on this. Well, they're disappearing act off my floor. They're all down here with everything. Can I get it to start on this end? We might have a siren coming past in a minute. There we go. Must use sharp cuts. Otherwise you risk squishing the end and then you won't get anything in it. Uh, which this has done anyway because this length of outer wants to be an absolute pain. So I'll just use a small flat screwdriver in there and open it up like that. Because it's like a, um, it's not plastic, um, I can't remember what they call it, but it's like a little lining inside this. Like a silicon lining I think they called it. And that closes up the ends. Right, so we be able to get it to go through that now. There we go. Right. Um. I think it might look better if I go up the nose a little bit. I'm trying to see what's going to look the tidiest. Yeah. So, the next bit to go on is your noodle, which you can just thread on exactly the same way as you did your outer. Starting with this bit at the top. Look at that. Pre-greased, and that's the one from Shimano. And that is um, an excellent little touch, that is. I like that. I can't really show you, but that then hooks over your Work like that. I've actually got set the brake um, pads up yet, I haven't done that. 
Uh, my nut bucket cover. Where is that gone? A 5mm hexagon key here. It's not on the desk. It's not on the desk. Toolbox, so I chuck it back in there. Negative, it's not in there either. It's there. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm actually gonna bring it this way a little bit. Right. Right, the spring has popped out of the way, which isn't a bad thing, because it means I can actually uh Quite easily get my brake pad lined up on the wheel and done up. And when you do that, obviously you don't want them too low on the rim and you don't want them too high because if they're too high, I think rub on the tire and you don't want to brake using your tire. You want to brake using your wheel rim. Right. I've got to do the same on the other side now and the same on the two rears and we're good to go for put the brake cables on somewhere there I believe finger in place so it doesn't rotate the pad oh. <laughs> getting worried there and had my finger stuck might have to undo that spring screw that side. So, a wee bit too much tension I think. Still a bit too much tension. So these have little adjusters down there. That one's weak though. Mm -hmm. But I'll have to put the cable on just see how that's going to fare. So put your noodle on there like that. Now, in these kits you get a little bit of a rubber bit. I did bring some up from the shed the other day, but I think I'm just going to use these ones that came with the set. Right. We've just got a bolt in the top of the other one. I've got to unscrew it for the clamp. Clamp the lift up. Puzzling me that one. Goes through the clamp like that. The spring has come off again. <laughs> right. Also, because of how much spring is there, this side is actually rubbing on the wheel. Right. And fix that by unscrewing the screw anymore. Or am I seriously going to have some issues with that one?
permanent break. That uh, that is not good. Right. Okay. Really, I do need to get round the back of this bike. Uh, I want to tackle the front ears next. Hexagon key down again. Nemo's up his I don't know why Nemo likes to sleep up this corner now. He's got bed there. Got my bed in the bedroom. But he sleeps down here on the floor. Cat logic right there. Right, right then. I'm hoping I don't have the same issue with this rear brake. Actually speaking of, one on this side. I might as well get the brake pads uh, all lined up. A bit on the high side there, it's a bit too close to the tar. Right. There, should be good. Let me spring has come off again. Could essentially trim the front brake down now. Okay, so front gear's connected. How far out of Quite far away from the zing, is it? Feel of it? So, let's screw all the way in. I can see one problem. I don't know what the problem is, but I'll come to the other side to fix it. I think. Adjusting everything and setting it all up. Not. Okay, get that cable in. Clamp it back down and we'll have a second try, shall we? in a lot. I've unscrewed it too much.
this is the bit I dislike. Guaranteed, but once I get up from there, I'm going to spit my words out. Guaranteed, something's not going to want to uh, play.
I'm back. I think I've got the uh, front gears sorted. They've been a bit of a pain in the ass to set up, but um, I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, I am. <laughs> um, hang on a minute. This might help. Might help if that was actually in alignment. going up properly but I want to get the rear gears sorted now so need a nine mil see if I can find nine mil shall we that's an eight that's a ten that is a nine mil apparently Sometimes you come across a variety of mech on the back here which has a 5mm hex. Ooh, will I get away with it on you? Yeah. Right. Should have that set so it's sort of like halfway screwed in this little adjuster. If I remember rightly, I did uh, set it that way. Nope, that's going to be a pain in the ass as well. help you know if I uh, pull the cable through nice and tight which I didn't <laughs> so there we go about another couple of inches I had to pull through there so you start off in your bottom gear fifth sixth seventh eighth whatever I should mention that because I've forgotten Bop your cable down. And start shifting up. And watch your chain drop off at the front. So that wants to go in top, so I'm going to unscrew the adjuster a bit more.
that's good as I'm going to get that one. I think that's good enough for now because no doubt when I take it downstairs to take it for a ride I'm, I'm going to need to uh, make some more adjustments so I've only got one cable left. That's for that. I'm going to try and uh, figure out what's wrong with the uh, front brake here. I need a brake cable. Here's a brake cable. So now I've got to start up the top here again. Now when you buy a brake cable these days, they get tied to the knot quite easily if you don't unravel them properly like me. Because I was an idiot. Right, there we go. You only get them in one length. Many years ago you could buy um, separate front and rear brake cables, but now they're all in one. Just one single length that you just cut down to whatever you need. You get two ends. You get the um, end for your racing bike, and I think that would go in some older bikes as well. And you just get your standard end. So you just cut off the end you don't want. So in this case, I'm not putting it on a road bike or anything, so that's the end we don't need. Everything is in position already. Yeah, including the brake adjuster. So I just need some outer cabling now. Yep. Okay, so I need to go from here down to here. And somewhere there. It's a good length. Not my way of measuring, just sort of there will do. <laughs> just need to make sure you've got enough slack there for various things. For turning and whatnot. If you're gonna fit a light to it's handy to have that slack there as well. Feed into there. This goes into there. And the other stopper is there. Right. Bloody spring things. That brake box not quite in line. Moved. Hang on, I'll move you in a minute. I did remember camera. I've just got my hands full. Right, there we go. <laughs> to the rear of the bike. <sighs> ah. So, where's my other one of these? Should have another bag of bits. Which. Not up there. Oh, to the floor I go. See if I can find it. I found a bag of ferals. Ah, found it. Get up, mate. 
Is this a piece of art that I've made earlier? <laughs> As in, will it fit? It will actually, I think. I've got it all out fine down. Where's my cable? Sure, I've plenty there. Right. Get a little baggy. Where's my knife? So, I need my rubber and me a ferrule. Not my ferrule, my brake noodle. Brake noodles are easy. Just thread them on the same way you do your hairs. And these are actually um, been pre greased from Shimano. I think I uh, mentioned that earlier in the video, didn't I? I can't remember. So that goes into there, that goes into there, that goes... ...on there. And that's come off of there when I don't want it to. Go back there. I need my hex. Whew. Hopefully I'm not going to have issues with the rear brake. find a new dragon mech for this as well in the rear because uh, I've just noticed it's uh, bent. Not unless I can uh, straighten it out somehow. The cage has gotten bent. I'd have this problem with uh, brand new V brakes. Right, let me just get the excess cable cut off of all of these. Like that. I'm going to cut it too short because I still want enough to. Get hold of. Doesn't help because I've actually noticed a slight buckle in the back wheel. Right. Not 
feel like when I'm doing the wrong one. And it's this one that's too tight. I think I've got it. Um, this front one seems to be a bit broken out, doesn't it? Well, little to no spring in that one. Uh, everything else up downstairs. Um, I will just have a look at that front brake though. I think gear wise and brake wise I can put the uh, anti-frame cable ends on. Now I actually haven't got a crimp tool for this. So what I'd use is a pair of these, preferably a blunt pair. Just go right in the back here where there's no blade. And that is enough usually to uh, just crimp these on. You can still cut through them, especially if you've got a sharp pair of these. You've really got to do that. Just keep it on there. Now I'm going to do the same with the rear gears. I think I'm good with that. That's the most adjusting I can do downstairs. Not tonight though. Um, I'll get this done and then I'm just going to call it quits for the video I think. I just wish I could have done a better job. But uh, you know, it was bloody hard work trying to do everything on your own. Right then, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching the video if you made it this far and uh, uh, if you like the video you know what to do, you can give me a thumbs up if you disliked it. Just like the video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.